guys welcome back to our channel today i'll be sharing a very quick recipe on how i make my meatball in potato sauce and um, this is just a quick recipe i usually make meatball and spaghetti for my daughter and when i have leftover meatballs i just use it to um, make something for myself and these are all the ingredients that you need um basically you can use whatever vegetable you like i learned this recipe from my turkish friends and they just usually use the green peas alone for the recipe but over time I found out that I like to spice it up a bit so I like all the other vegetables in there if I'm also going to have my potatoes so I've got my meatball already I got this one's already made um, pre-made from Asda and I'm just going to go ahead and um, put all this together so you can see what it looks like at the end and so this is the meatball this is a mixture of my vegetables this is some bell peppers as usual green bell pepper the red one the yellow one i've got my green beans as well and um chopped onions i've got my sunflower oil tomatoes a little bit of thyme and curry i like to add that just to give it some taste and one seasoning cube i'll be using the maggi cube here i have my chili flakes i'll be using just to spice it up a little you know i like my spices and some black pepper and also my salt and that's it guys these are just all the ingredients that you need so stay tuned guys let me show you how it's done so basically i just preheat my pot just a little sometimes i use a deep fryer sometimes i just use a pot it depends on how you want it and i'm just going to pop my oil in there just to grease the pan just a little as you can see and when this is a bit hot I'm just gonna go ahead and add my balls in. Now I like to add a little bit of onion, not all my onions, but just a little bit to give the meatballs some um, kind of taste. And I also just go ahead and add my black pepper. We've got ginger and garlic and any um, other of your spices you want to add. Now will be a good time and some salt. I feel like the onion is going to infuse into my meatball. So. Usually, meatballs take about 20, 20 to 30 minutes to get ready because you really want the meat to cook properly all the way inside. But because I'm still going to cook this as well, so I'm just trying to give it its own um, flavor before I go ahead and add all the other stuff. Flying all around everywhere, but now this frying is actually optional. You can decide you don't want to fry. You can just put the meatballs in when um, when you made your sauce to put the meatball together. But as I said, I learned this from my Turkish friends, and this is how they would make the meatballs separately, make the sauce separately, and then put the meatball into the sauce. But I find that it's easy for me to just mix this together. And I'm just going to take it out and put it on a separate plate. For now, we'll come back to it. Picking up my onion, well, some of it, and I'm then gonna go ahead with all this other meat. Thank you. 
a little bit of curry powder. Some more black pepper. Fresh chili. Put some more. Some thyme. A little bit of salt. One season too. I give it a good mix. Guys, if it looks like it's burning, don't worry, just keep giving it a good mix until all the flavors have been infused into your vegetables. And for me, I would add my tomatoes, but you can add your potatoes at this stage if you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes. I just add a little bit more tomatoes. Can you see? Just by adding the tomatoes. And now I'll add some water. Put my potatoes. Give it a good mix. Just check that everything's in there. Yep. The spicy as I want. And my meatballs is gonna go in. reduce the heat a little because I want it to slow cook and I'll cover it and come back and show you what it looks like guys. So guys it's been boiling for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes and this is what it looks like. And as you can see our meatball sauce is ready it is properly cooked, vegetable is still cooked. You can eat this as is, you can eat this with rice, with whatever you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to 1k plus followers. We really appreciate. We're grateful. Thank you guys for watching.